to the second half of Kids Community Connections, 103.1 Kids FM. And I'm Phyllis Jones, you're still, still your host, and we're still talking to our young men. So now my next question is, when you leave high school, what are you going to do? And then why? Well, what I want to do is I want to go to college, maybe Prairie View a and and I want to major in architecture because when I was young, I've always had a passion for using my hands and drafting and drawing things. Mm -hmm. So I wanted, I want to get my major, I want to major in architecture and then I want to be an architectural drafter because I really have a passion for building, for drawing blueprints. Because last year in eighth grade, we had, oh, this one project, we had to draw a blueprint I was like, this is easy. And I got a good grade on it because I like doing that type of stuff. That's good. That's good. That's good. And it's important that when you go to college that you do something you love. Because often parents want you to be do something that they love mm. and you end up failing and you to right yeah and then you end up failing and it becomes a nightmare because uh neither one are happy at this point in time we we have two people who've lost something so that's good so what do you want to do when you get out um of course go to college haven't decided where i wanted to go okay but, um i do want to study business and entrepreneurship wow i want to why create my own business okay why uh, I always well, I really I'm I'm gonna study music, mm -hmm. but I always had a thing for a negotiation. I love making deals. I love, uh, not saying being in charge, but leadership is one of my characteristics that I like about myself. And many people see it in me as well. And I was just like, maybe I should do something with that. And really, one I inspire. I want to be like Diddy. Cause Diddy, Diddy actually has his hands in everything. Okay, for the older generation, it was Diddy. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, Sean Combs, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, he has Finally. his he has his hand. He really has his hand in in everything and anything really. But he also, I love the way he multitasks and black excellence. He's always about black excellence, and um, I just inspired to do to be so if, if you became an out your uh, business owner what kind of business do you think you'd want to have um i want to have well it's an industry I'm trying to get in the music industry but i have my own company and i'll like unknown artists they can come in i'll test them out see how they do you know just we can work something out you know just like negotiation and i just love music so this is what i need for you to do then talk to your parents yeah. this year the NAACP, our national convention, will be in San Antonio the second weekend of July. And I don't know if you, you probably don't know or didn't pay or haven't, no one's ever told you, but everybody of everybody comes to the NAACP national convention. I mean, everybody, because it's the one thing that you just, you, you come to. The Youth and College Division has concerts all the time <clears throat> because everybody comes in and does a concert for the Youth and College Division. So that might be something you might want to look at for in July, second weekend of July, you follow it. And you might ask, well, your parents, can you come to one of the workshops mm -hmm. where you meet the people that you're talking about? Right. Um, and just, and listen and, and learn. Cause it wouldn't be so much hanging out with them. It'd be the listening and the learning that you would gain from them um, being there. And they come there strictly to, like I said, for the youth in college. You know, there are things for adults too, but what you're talking about is youth in college. So um, that would be nice for you to come to this summer if, you're, if you can with your parents mm -hmm. and visualize and listen and talk to some of them mm -hmm. to see because, you know, a direction you're going in, they might say, well, you know, and add this to it or this is how I got there. Uh, a lot of times we want to do things, but we don't put ourselves in the places where we need to be to find out the information. Mm -hmm. so, so we lose it. So that might be something that you want to, well, in fact, both of you come to the convention and, you know, and listen and learn. But um, as far as the music part, like I said, the youth and college, they have the best concerts. I don't know why, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but that might be something you want to talk, you know, listen to them and everything about. And you're talking about scholarships. The one scholarship that disappoints me that our kids don't apply for, my daughter and my granddaughter did apply for them, is the Coca-Cola scholarship. Coca-Cola scholarship is for the top 10% children. The only thing they want to know is what you've done in the mm -hmm. community. Church doesn't count. 
and and we we got to remember that as 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 a people we always got to remember that because our parents which is i'm not complaining and fussing about it but our parents put us there our kids there and but it doesn't count for volunteer hours when you're moving up so your coca-cola scholarship and a lot of counselors kind of hold that scholarship to their you know like it's theirs so you might need if you're in the top 10 percent and you do things in the community as far as volunteering get that scholarship because not only does it pay for um you know for you to go but it, it renew it can renew as long as your grades are kept up that they, they will renew that scholarship for you and it's um like i said i've never i've never seen any school yet voluntarily give that scholarship out mm -hmm. i've always had parents go ask for it mm -hmm. Uh, so if you so make sure your parents go ask for it, yes. you know, or uh, it, or if your if your counselor gives it to you. But if not, that's one scholarship. Like I said, it pays and pays and pays, and uh, our kids need to go and get them as fast as possible, as soon as possible, yes. so that we don't let those things die. Um, because you can go to school free. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend any money going going to school. Right. Uh, it, not to say that you know you don't have to work hard, but as far as the finances, if kids do it right and parents do it right, your kid actually doesn't spend any money. Uh, I know with mine, but only we had to spend money because the program she's in, where she was in, she had to have another cell phone. Mm -hmm. And a contract wasn't up, <laughs> so we, <laughs> you know, you know, you know the self, you know, the self. So we had to buy another cell phone, and who cares? You know, the the main thing, the main part about it was already done. So um, when you go for your scholarships, you know, make sure that you get the one, get that one, lean that direction. And also, do y'all do any you volunteer in the community? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you do, you have you do volunteer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's the important part of our volunteering? Um, just helping the people. Okay. So giving back. Giving back. Man. Giving back. Because we're supposed to leave the community. When we leave the community, it should be better than it was when we got mm -hmm. it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you volunteer in the community? I do. I do volunteer. So what do you do for volunteering? Um, I go out to Lions Club Park and I just pick up trash. I garden, just do things, you know, just like you said, give back to the community without profit. <laughs> <laughs> well, the profit actually, you do get a profit though. The profit is that you leave it better. Right. And also that we're learning um, and we're teaching. So as far as your friends, are you all the leaders or the followers? Um, I really don't. Of the group of of your group of associates. Uh, really, I mean, I don't. I'm I'm just by myself. I just okay. do me. Focus on school. Focus on track. Just get into college. Do what I got to do just to make it out. And go so get in, up and become something. So okay. So in track, are you the leader or the follower? I'm a leader. I'm a leader. In track. <laughs> <laughs> in track. Uh oh. Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. Okay. What what about you? I will consider myself a leader and a follower because sometimes I'm just like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? So then I have to follow people to see how it is and how you do it. But sometimes I'm the leader because I'm like, come on, let's do this. Let's do that. And encouraging other people so I could just lift their spirits up so they could be better people. That's good. That, that's good because you, to be full circle, you have to be both. You have to learn to be a leader as well as a follower. Uh, and sometimes you need to be the, the, the back end person who's just standing back there and do, not leading, not following, but just standing back there ob yeah, observing mm -hmm. and listening. Because a lot of times you end up going to the front because you're back there saying, now, wait a minute, we can, we can do this, we can do this, we can do that. And that's because you are in the back um, chilling and, and, and sitting there. Which is what I love to do. I like sitting in the back of everywhere. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do. I walk in and sit directly in the back and just sit there and I'm really happy. You know, but you know why I like sitting back in the back? Because I can find out for everything going on. Because if I, if you sit up, you know, when you go somewhere and people say, sit up front. And they don't understand when you say no, you're not disrespecting them. You're saying, I want to hear from the community. And if I sit in the back, I can hear and get the feel of where I am and the feel of what's going on. But, but if I'm a friend, I, I can't get that. 
<laughs> so you'd you be like, I'm sitting up front and, and you're stuck because you're you're there. So, but I like the fact that you all see your leaders and your followers. And are you mentors? Do no, you ma'am. Are you? Do you mentor anyone? No, ma'am. No, bro. <laughs> I have a brother. But are you? Are you doing any mentoring to him? Yes, ma'am. I, yes, ma'am. I mean, because see, the mentoring doesn't have to be education. The mentoring it could be growing up. The the mentoring could be a lot of other things. So, what what do you mentor him? With music. Okay. Like he follows me in music a lot. Like. In middle school band, I started playing the trombone. Mm -hmm. And he started playing the trombone because I started playing the trombone. And now he he's a really good trombone player. And I think he could do better. I could I could teach him more. Teach okay. Him. Okay. And how are you? Um, I have two half brothers, unfortunately. They don't live with me. But the time that I do spare mm -hmm. to talk to them and actually see how they're doing i always give them in, uh information on what they have to do what they need to do make sure you stay on top of your responsibilities do things that you know don't disappoint your parents don't give them a headache <laughs> but uh but the time that i do give them i just i just try to encourage them because i know that we're separate in distance but we're not separate in heart so now we're gonna give i want one sentence one sentence <laughs> Of encouragement that you're gonna go, that you would go back and give to anybody you see in school on Monday. Um, I would tell them, whatever you're going through, don't let it drag you down. Keep on moving forward. What, like Martin Luther King quoted, "If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. If you can't crawl, just keep on moving forward." Okay. Hmm. Well, I ain't got no quotes. But, uh, <laughs> but, you don't um, have to have a quote. Yeah, yeah. but um, what you said was good. But one thing I would just tell people, when you know better, just do better. There you go. And just, like you said, keep moving forward. You may slip up. You may fall. Mm -hmm. Just do everything you can. Just maintain on the right track and follow the right choices. That's true. Okay. All right. I want to thank you two for coming on. Don't yes, leave. Sir. Don't thank move. Because yeah. we'll show us and finish it. <laughs> And cause I got something to say to 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 everybody, and but so uh, we, you got something to throw out, okay? Okay, I like to put something out. Um, March third, March third at Maynard Middle School. Ah, we're going to be hosting a Project Alpha. Oh, okay. it's for ages twelve to eighteen years old, male and female. We'll be covering a lot of subjects, from STDs to um. The laws, laws of the laws of the nation, or United States, Texas, whatever, however you want to look at it. Um, college education, how to fill out scholarships and everything. Um, we're gonna have it all there. I want. We like to try to get a good turnout. About like to get a good turnout. Um, if you're under 18, you have to get your parents' permission. They got to sign off on the permission slip because you're gonna see some things. We're gonna keep it real. You're gonna see some things that might want to make you stomach turn. And uh, might make you think about doing some things, you young youth. <laughs> okay, so that's March third at Maynard Middle School. What time? Um, it's gonna be from nine a.m. to one p.m. Okay. It may run longer, but it depends on how how many questions we have asking, people asking everything. But we there for you. Um, I like to thank um, Brother Barry. You know, he went through the legwork to get to get the school for us and everything like that. Um, did a lot of work. Uh, Brother Steve Johnson, our president, he's really pushing this real hard. And me as the <clears throat> director of education, I'm pushing it too. So I'd like to see you two there, if possible. And young man right there too. He's old <laughs> enough to come. And also, for you high school seniors out there, you stop by those counselors, get those scholarship packets out there. I mean, we have them out there. I also do uh, March 22nd back to your counselor. And you got other sororities and fraternities out there too. The scholarship packets out there, fill them out, send them in. For you young males out there, females are getting all the scholarship money. Females are getting all the scholarship money. And last thing for my Divine Nine brethren, today they're hosting the HBCU um, College Fair at the Clean Civic Center. 
Let's get out there. Let's get out there and support them and see what's out there. You may be surprised how much money is out there from HBCUs. It doesn't matter what race you are, whatever. So get out there. See what they have to offer. Never say no. You never know. I always ask students, can your parents really afford for you to go to that college? That's all I have. No, I, I need to ask a question about uh, Project Alpha. Yes. Because uh, I am pushing the uh, one thing that um, we need to worry about with our kids, and that's trafficking. Uh, child, child, and I'm on the task force for child trafficking, sex trafficking, and Bell County is really, our numbers are really bad. So I want to know you're going to cover that. <laughs> well, put it like this. If you're available March 3rd, we're going to cover it. Because, our and, and yes, boys are being trafficked as well as yes. girls. So, uh, but we need to talk about it because it's real. Uh, it's happening today. Bell County's numbers are bad. reason why our numbers are bad because we're in the I-10 corridor. So as long as we're in that I-10 corridor, those things happen. And we, as adults, we allow it to happen because we're not taught and some of us haven't went to the training yes. or thought about being trained to find out what to look for because there are things that we need to look for. There are words we all need to know. Um, when I became part of the, the, the task force and went to my first workshop, I was floored because guess what? I had saw something that I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> so, so I have a question for you. Yes. Are you available March 3rd? Yes, our round table will, can be available. Yes, so. Yes. Cordially inviting you to speak on that yeah, topic because we need yeah and I can fit you yeah. give you a timeline okay. yeah. yeah so yes yeah. so see we have another <laughs> we have another uh presenter there brother Bert brother Cleo if you're listening <laughs> which I know you are <laughs> because I'll tell you this in Texas last year we had over six hundred thousand kids taken that's that's a lot of kids in, in one yeah. state mm -hmm. uh, and so we need to fix that because. Like I said, it's growing because we're letting it grow. And you know, the biggest time for child sex trafficking is tomorrow, Super Bowl. Yes. All your big events are the events that children are sold on. All the big events where, you know, that's when children are sold. So we need to stop that. We need to put an end to it. And like I said, uh, I push that everywhere I go because you are youth and we need to protect you. And we need to also teach you what to look for because you might see you, but you need to know what to look for because you can see something today <clears throat> and actually realize what's going on and make that phone call. You know, whereas before you'd be like, mm, that looks kind of weird and you walk off. No, no, that's not, that's it. this looks like this. So that's one thing I try to get everybody to talk about and to bring up because like I said, knowledge is power and we can make things, we can get that to go away um, on that day. And keep in mind, Project Alpha too. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about that. Also, we're gonna have two, two presenters um, speak to the females and to the males about what you put in your body. Mm. You know, keeping yourself healthy and everything. Okay, so it's not all about sex. And we're trying to give you a full spectrum. You know, the good and the bad. And those are two good presenters. I'm not gonna say their name on the air right now, but they know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, and um, they they committed. They they told me they'll be there to, to help out and everything. They love to do it. <laughs> One of them is a professional boxer locally. That's a little hint, okay? <laughs> All right, okay. That is important. And also, one of my challenges is this. Um, February 20th uh, is the first day for early voting. So this is what I'm gonna do. Mel's is gonna kill me, and so is Joe right here. But uh, Kiss, I, I, want, I want everybody to know that kiss, kiss, my kiss, we're going to vote the first day of early voting. And we want to know when everybody else is going to go vote. So we as a group of kiss, we're voting that day. So I need all other groups, all other groups to go to Kiss's Facebook page and let us know what day you're going to vote. Because you know what? If we want them to have a good tomorrow and a good future, we need to vote today. So if we don't vote, we don't care about you. So I, I want everybody to hear what I'm saying. If we don't vote, we don't care about our youth. Don't say yes, you do, and you didn't vote. So what I'm challenging today is to say that KISS, <laughs> on the 20th, we're going we're gonna to vote. So I need to know when every sorority, fraternity, every everybody, I want y'all to go to our Facebook page, and we want to see the date that you are going to go vote. So I want to see everybody's date 
And like I said, Mel's is gonna kill me, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the divine nine will will show up and strong. No, no, we all, I want to know the date. See, we we doing it on the twentieth. Twenty fifth, the first day, we gonna be there that day. So, <laughs> so, so I don't want I don't want to show up. I want the date. So you know, and and then we gonna watch the Facebook page, and if everybody know me, you know I'm gonna blast you. So, <laughs> so I want to see some. Well, you know, on the Facebook page, I want to see some dates of of when everybody gonna do early voting because we're so um, talk. We're so much talking about our youth, yeah, and and protecting our youth and giving them what you what we what they need. If we don't vote, they can't get what they need. Right. You know, and if we're not gonna give you what you need, then we need to go shut up somewhere. And I did say that. So, uh, like I'm saying, is we I threw off the date already for us. So you know, the alpha date, I'm, I'm waiting on it. I, I'm just, you know, I'm, doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on everybody's. You know, I, and I want to look on our Facebook page and I want to see, you know, um, who's who's date. And I need you two to ask adults that you see and interact with. Are you are you gonna vote? Ask them. For real, seriously, ask them, are they gonna vote? And then you know what you need to also ask them? That's not good enough. You need to know who they voting for and why. You do. We need to know who they voting for, because this year, we're voting in our legislators. Your legislators, our state legislators, are the ones who vote on your education. Uh, they're the ones who put the money in for your education, how much is gonna be spent for your education. So you need to ask your parents, as far as the legislators, who they're voting for and why. It's not the fact that they're gonna vote, or oh, why well, I can go vote for Mickey Mouse. But what legislator am I gonna to vote to put in there that's going to do what he needs to do for our kids' education? So this year, we have the, the challenge that we can actually change it if we vote. So when you ask people that they're gonna, are you gonna vote? Yeah, ask them what they're voting for. Don't just say, are you going to vote? That's like me saying I'm going to the store and yeah. see what store I'm going to. But ask them. <laughs> but, but say, you know, who are you voting for and why? Yes. Who, because being an informed voter is, is a voter. is a good voter. Just going to go vote, that didn't tell me nothing. So that's, I gave you two challenges, haven't I? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Think homework. Huh? <laughs> but, but you know what? They're not bad. They're good. They're everyday things that we need to be doing anyway. So I want to thank Tony Rose for coming on the show to talk about Project Alpha One. That's the yes. biggest thing, yes. and also for bringing these two young, these two young men in. And I want to thank you all for continuously doing what y'all do in the community for our males. And I'd like to thank um, Doctor Doctor Hill, Dean of Education <laughs> at Central Texas A and M, for putting together this. And Martin Luther King Jr. Oratorical is real good. We were very impressed, and um, we're going to keep this train moving next year. Okay, if you're listening, it's not going to be the same topic. So <laughs> pay attention to what's going on in the news for the next year because uh, it's going to be on one of those topics, okay? So yeah. pay attention, young men. And I want to thank the two young men for coming on. And, you, and, and, and thank you for your encouragement to the, the other youth because you owe the younger ones what we owe you. So we need to continue to pay it forward. And I want to thank your parents for coming on also and supporting you and being with you. So I want to thank everyone also for listening to Kids Community Connections, 103.1 Kids FM. And I want you to always remember, you cannot lead a positive life with a negative mind. We'll talk to you next Sunday. Bye now.